Hi, Mark Graham here with Gorilla Grills today. I want to show you how to install your natural gas kit for your primate. So start off, let's see what you get in your kit. A natural gas regulator, and you're also going to get four new orifices that have a larger hole. What you're going to need to do to install this is you're going to need a couple wrenches for your gas fittings. You'll need a small straight slot screwdriver to adjust the knobs. You'll need a Phillips screwdriver to remove some panels and you'll need a seven millimeter wrench or a socket driver to remove the orifices. So let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is remove the rear panel on the primate. So we'll spin this thing around for you. And there's six screws holding this rear panel on. So I'll get those removed real quick. Now that we got this rear panel removed, you're going to want to slide the heat shield over if you already had it installed or if you didn't install it. You do not need this when you're using natural gas. This heat shield is strictly to protect your tank. So now we have a little bracket here that holds on the gas line in the inside here. So we're going to remove this bracket, allowing us to remove the front of the faceplate. So you, <clears throat> this will be the bracket, and you want to keep these two screws to mount the regulator. So now that we got the hose free, as you can see here, we'll go ahead and spin the grill around and remove the front control panel. All right, to remove this front assembly, there's two screws on this side, two screws on this side, and then we can pull this out far enough to where you'll see in a minute where we can un unplug the igniters and remove this whole assembly. All right, so I got the four screws removed. I got the hose clamp removed in the back. That'll allow this to pull off. And then you can simply tip this back and what you'll find is your ignition system here. So with your ignition system, you just want to unplug each of these. That frees up that. And then you can, if you look on the other side here, you can see your gas line. So we're simply gonna slide this thing out. And we'll just place this on the table and replace these valves. All right, now that we got this front panel off here, we're simply going to unscrew these with a seven, mil, seven millimeter nut driver. And replace with a new larger natural gas. And that's all there is to it. We'll repeat this process for the other three. Once all four are complete, We'll be ready to install our regulator onto the hose. All right, so the next thing is we got our natural gas regulator. It's labeled on the back in and out. So we want to use the outside and connect our hose. And for this, you do not use any type of uh, sealant or lubricants. This is a pressure fitting, so do not use any uh, type of uh, sealant on that. So we'll get that finger tight. and secure it. So now that we got the regulator mounted on here, it's time to install this back on the grill and uh, get it hooked up. All right, before we put the front panel back on, what you want to do is get rid of this drip pan off to the side. And also the regulator is going to have to go through here, so it's kind of a small fit. So I'm just going to loosen these two, take these two screws off actually. And that'll allow me to slide this out so I can get that regulator through. So next is let's install the front plate. So now that I got this panel loose, I'm simply going to slip that out of the way so I can get my regulator in the back. Put this back in place. Then you're simply going to hook up your four igniters again. And then one thing that makes things easier, you can open these doors, rest this on here just for a second while you sec secure the front heat shield. Now just reverse your actions here by putting this up and sliding this out back on. And securing with the two screws here and the two screws here, and then we'll spin around and do the back. So now you can see here, I have my regulator. I got the two screws. We're simply going to line that up with these two holes and 
reuse the screws that we had earlier. All right, now that we have this secured, if you have this in place, you can slide it back over, uh, whatever works for you. Last thing to do here is to reinstall our back panel by simply sliding back in place and installing the six screws. All right, so now that I got the back put back on, the last thing we gotta do, guys, is adjust the valves. These valves are adjustable, so now that we got natural gas converted in here, you simply have to remove these gas knobs, and inside here, there's a small screw, and if you use a small straight slot screwdriver, you actually insert it in the hole until you feel it lock in. The valve and turn a quarter turn clockwise. That opens up the needle, that allows more gas flow to go to those larger orifices that we have installed earlier. So that'll get your low burn set just right. And then make sure to repeat the process for all four valves. So screwdriver in the middle and a quarter turn clockwise. That's all you need to do. And then simply slip your knobs back on and you're all done with your conversion. So not that big a deal guys. Uh, just takes a few minutes, a couple tools and you're ready to rock and roll. Um, really want to thank you for purchasing the Primate. Getting it hooked up to natural gas is a great way to do it. You don't have to worry about the tanks. Um, that being said, since you are hooking up to some home gas lines, we definitely recommend using a licensed uh, professional to help you do that properly. And uh, thanks again, guys, for supporting Grilla Girls.